Look how long it's going to take less than five minutes. All right. Roll. All right. Less than five minutes for 60 three seconds. For three gigs. No, no, no. But it's counting one at a time. No, I mean, it's doing it all at once. All right. I did not. 60 seconds. Look, I already got set part two. Oh, okay. 60 seconds for all of them. Then it must be your computer because I thought it was, the difference in speed was the flash drive. No, it actually was the flash drive. Nephilim. Right okay, we're going to do the trade and. I think I... that's the problem because it was going from flash drive to thing, so it was taking longer to do the processing speed. But look how fast it's doing right there. Oh, so it's, all, so it's all of them at a time, all right. It's all flash drive. This works out. I don't know how many times I've said that in this kind of game, let alone this title. The update. Like, I've already seen the footage and the cutscenes uh, due to some of the leaks. Um, but I, I'm actually, I had never done live commentating with them, though. I mean, I have my initial thoughts, but now I'm playing the game, which gives me a somewhat different stance. Oh, ha, huh, I use the word stance. Okay, this is a silent moment, but let me ask you something. Do you really expect Mundus to honor his word to be able to trade one person for another? Not even close. Yeah, because he doesn't really but care. But I'm actually get I'm actually holding Dante to one regard in this one. Which is? I want to see how this turns out. If it doesn't turn out how I think it is, I will explain to you why. All right, because I, I already know you can, are free to make predictions. No, it's. I mean, it's I a certain secret I know about Dante. I have to admit though, I. Don't really, I don't really see Kat as a full-fledged person, but I have to admire the fact that she's able to stand up, survive, and walk with a bullet hole in her chest from a very, from a very large gun. I, I don't know what they shot her with. I didn't uh, take note of the gun, but uh, she's doing it in person, and Mundus has not ha had her recovered. Although N New Dante and Virgil are the ones to make sure that Lilith is perfectly intact. Like, she has no wound, no injury. She can fight. Well, okay, some some. Basically, all the all the damage was taken to the baby. Okay, now I, I'm about to ask this plot hole about this plot hole. The moment this goes badly, and it has to do with Virgil holding the ridiculous contraption that he is. This thing better go smoothly. It doesn't, you know it's gonna... It... You know, um, shit is going to come full circle. Yeah, but look at Virgil. Look at what he's doing. Oh, shit. It looks like he's standing outside. That is not a hell gate. That looks like the outside. Remember, try not to upload too many pieces of footage at a time. I don't think YouTube could handle that. What's happening? Hold on. 
Okay, how the hell does he get dragged into limbo? It. There are no demons right here! They don't explain this! Alright, now I think is the time to question what is going on. It's like, how? How does this make any sense in the context of what Ninja Theory is trying to present as a, as a, as a haven, like a sort of... Uh, I think you're trying to as do a sort of that form, a form of media that is met to the standards of film and literature. Yes, that is what they said. You have a time. They're getting closer every single hit. Get down. I know. I'm timed. I mean, you don't need a clock to see this. No, but what do you think? I mean, how the hell do they have this concept of limbo? Is this is this witch time for new Dante here? I think I get. I think I understand what it is. You want to know what they did? What? You remember when Phineas said you had, the perspective is opening your mind? Yeah. The angels could do, could, uh, could open new paths and new abilities? Yeah. This is one of them. While everybody else is in limbo, save the whole, save the thing, save the thing, it's gonna, it's about to be hit, it's about to hit. What? What is about the to The car! Hit? I can't see because these enemies are in the way. The enemies are just there to waste your time. I know, but the enemy it was blocking the view of that particular grapple point. Which is another thing I don't like about this game and its level designs. Some of them are are not only scripted, but they force you to move as quickly as you can. Like you cannot kill all of them in order. Like in Devil May Cry 3, you could do it to get an S ranking, a double S or a triple S. I mean, in Devil May Cry 4, killing enemies is a luxury. Hurry, man. Hurry. No. Got no time for you. Is that an Urx? Yep. Oh, right. That's an Urx. That's an Urx. I am. I'm switching. It's just that Dante's Arbiter, it doesn't even let me switch when I fire, I mean, when I use it just once. If I get one hit into it, it doesn't switch automatically. They did such a better job with Lucifer, Pandora, and, uh, what was the other weapon? There were three. Lucifer, Pandora, and, I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, that was pretty short. Looks like it's your lucky day. Okay, this uh, this doesn't begin to make up for the 35 to 40 minutes we spent on that meticulous boss fight. Actually, no, I do have to kill a majority of the enemies because that that revolves. That is what is revolved around my ranking in this level. And there's two keys in this level. Two keys. Yeah, that's true. We didn't have the opportunity to get them. It's like I didn't even see any keys in this level. I was more preoccupied of you have to do this because time's running out with them but you do They're have some time all right you, you have, have some time but not you, no you do you you have some time i i'm like i believe that this game may be built i'm not afraid to be pro proven wrong here i believe this game may be built to accommodate your desire to hack and slash every last thug and i was also going to mention you have all the weapons from dmc4 and yamato also uh you can switch them very quickly uh, even when you f um swing fast they change fast here there's a there is a delay and I don't admire it at all, right? You have the shotgun, uh, the Coyote A. You also have, uh, again, yeah, and Lucifer and the rest. It's like, it's like, err. All right, guys, I'm done. I'm going to take a large break from this game. Uh, just put down in the comments below about whatever, about how frustrated you think you are or, or you are or how wrong I am for being this angry at a game. Yeah. Got anything to say before we close this one out? Basically, this one is poorly timed. It's, it's, I'm guessing it's tailored to be the fact that you actually had to have everything leveled up, or all the weapons just to pull off this level on per, triple S. Yeah. Which they want you to do, but it's so annoying it's a, that you don't want to do it. It's a blockade. It's not, I mean, take note that X Squad isn't really playing the game a lot. In fact, most of it, most of the playthrough has been left up to me just because I am a veteran, but right now, I, Basically, because you want to, it's your, it's your, it's your show, and it's your talk about, 
I'm yeah, wanting but, to play completely. I know, but you're more the observer. In fact, does, uh, be honest. Does any of this make you want to play the game right now? Absolutely not. It virtually... It makes me want to hate Ninja Theory for most of the things they've done. Mm -hmm. And Capcom. For most of the actual dialogue alone is just garbage. Yeah, the scenes were played out pretty well. I mean, they tried to do... What was that moment you said? We, we got another few minutes. What was that moment you said that you were predicting when Virgil looked like he was about to do something? He was about to have an ulterior motive and no, express it? No, I mean, it? This, is this. Something they never mentioned in any of the game... In, in this game so far... But it has been known that Virgil has the ability to not only kill enemies with Yamato, but he's been known to use the Yamato to reflect blades, uh, reflect he bullets, can, actually. He, he can open, yeah, he's been known to use the Yamato to sweep up bullets and fire at, back at the uh, back at the original sh uh, shooters but one thing that bothers me is that it bothers me i'm sorry i didn't pronounce that right anyway yamato is able to cut open holes in time and space virgil has trick teleports it's like his face and identity seeming identity have already been exposed to mundus so why the hell doesn't he just fight back here why did he go out of his way to use a gun explain it to me and i'll probably disagree and debate you over it but i just i can, I can probably do it from just seeing the story alone but it's that it's this one thing. He doesn't want himself to be exposed to Mundus because Mundus still doesn't know he exists. No, no, he knows he exists because he has that Bob Barbus News Network. Remember, he's much no, no, up mean, there. He knows he exists as a terrorist, but he doesn't know that he's Dante's like, like, brother like a, or a Nephilim. Like his name, heritage, and weapons. It's just that he's like he's already out in the open though, and he looks like Dante. I mean, his their faces are both the same. It's like Except if you're not, he, he's not counting the hair. He basically, it's if, like if Mundus is not written like an idiot, you're bound to make a connection. Yeah, that's the same thing. You, and there's also the fact of this one thing that they didn't pull off with Dante, which was Dante in the original series has been known even in the even if you consider the manga, the anime, and all the series, he's only not killed humans is only because no but he didn't kill humans no, no he did actually he he wouldn't do it is because it would be too messy and too much of a pain to clean up and too much of a pain no, to but, cover up no, or but, clean up but this one didn't kill humans and in this in this dimension or the original yeah he just did and the and the gunfight well he's oh. well he's oh, oh, yeah he did I, I thought that was all virtual well, even though dante was just shooting no, them. he yeah. he was when he was going to her he was shooting until he got to Right, him. right, because classic Dante has a code of conduct, never to use swords or guns against humans, because they are defenseless. But he, here... uses, he uses uh, his bare fist, but he has been known to kill humans on when he has a choice. No, no, no. He, uh, honestly, classic Dante, I don't recall him seeing like seeing him kill humans only un until they embrace demonic power. It's like when he, when they become demon themselves or part demon, yeah, he could take a shot at them. Literally. He, could take he, a said, he does that mainly because it's reprieved. He can use the excuse of a demon. But, 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 but for he, a human, he literally says it in the anime, in the manga, and even in some of the, even in some of the games, he doesn't do it solely because he can't, it would cause too much trouble for him. If it wasn't for that one fact, he would do it. No, but he's, like, he's, he's largely he, against it, though. Like, just out of character. I'll, I'll, I'll make a one reference out of all of them. In the, in the comic book, he did it. He actually did kill humans. He actually did for one, for one instance when they were all enemy and, he, and they were all against him. Oh. In, the, in the anime, in the first episode, he literally mentioned the, the chick at the very end uh, and the whole brother family uh, killing spree yeah he says you're worse than demons but since she, if it wasn't for the fact that she was human or uh that, that he, he wouldn't get in tr uh, away with it he would kill her yeah he would kill her no no, no, and no. if she if Wait, you're worse than a demon but i think he was just being like figurative about it because no he actually was, no, he, was he, he had the desire to kill her but he was resp repressing it and in here he actually fought, he did kill Ref re no respect and number and number don't make her for Dante comes through the... I know, the ceiling, but that guy... He, that guy was a demon in disguise, though. He wasn't a demon in disguise. He had that ascension ceremony that... He had that him. ascension ceremony that brought him back, but he was human until then. He was... He actually killed no, a human you, at you, the very beginning. No, you can Then brought back as a demon. Okay, look. There's a Devil May Cry 4 playthrough that a lot of other people have done. 
uh, myself included. Uh, I'm still, of course, making some edits, but we actually go into that. So feel free to debate all around because I don't feel like laying my eyes on this game anymore for the next couple of days or so, all right? This, this is where we end it. There is nothing left for me to talk about as of now. Uh, and Mission 15 was this short, but somehow it turned into a, a little over a seven minute discussion. So, uh, so put your opinions below 